Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at technology waste and the effects that these can have on the body. First of all, what I'd like you to do is grab your jotter. If you don't happen to have it at home, then any spare piece of paper will do. And I want you to list um, in your jotter five materials that are used in computers, which you think would come under the following two headings. So we've got five of what you think are the most common materials in computers, and then five of what you think might be the most harmful materials. So if you think plastic's harmful, or it could be more specific, like types of metal or different substances. I would suggest that you pause the video, have a little bit of time to think over it, and when you've written down five of each, reconvene the video in just a second. Okay, hopefully you've now came up with your um, five materials under each heading. So let's have a look and see what the answers are, and then we'll go on with the lesson. Under most common, the fifth most common material used inside computers is aluminium. You'll know that from cans and stuff that you've had, but that's also used as part of the computer system as well. The fourth most commonly used material is glass, um, obviously in things like the screen and stuff, but also that can be used as part of the motherboard and things too. Third is copper, that's really important because it's built into the motherboard and obviously all the wires and things inside your computer and your charging cables are made of um, copper, very um, good for transmitting electricity. Number three, we've got ferrous metal. Now the word ferrous just means it contains iron, so it's a specific subgroup of metals. So um, metals obviously used quite a lot in different parts of the computer system and the most common one is obviously plastic because that's used for parts of the casing, um, housings for different parts inside the computer, um, etc, etc. Okay, so those are your five most commonly used materials or the ones that are used um, the biggest amount of in the building of your computer systems. Under the most harmful materials, these are materials you maybe haven't um, more commonly heard of before, so we're going to talk through what they are. OK, the first one is um, beryllium. I'm not going to explain them, OK, but beryllium's uh, the fifth most harmful one. We've got something called cadmium, which I'll talk more about a little bit later on. We've got arsenic. You might have heard of that before. It's a type of poison. Uh, number two is mercury. If you've come across mercury before, it might have been in something like chemistry or if you've looked at thermometers and stuff, mercury is that kind of liquid metal that you get. And the number one is lead, so a kind of a more dense version of the lead that you use inside your pencils and things, but nonetheless, the same type of material. So those are your five most harmful materials and the amounts that are kind of used inside computers. And we're going to talk a little bit more about them in today's lesson. OK, the point of today's lesson is to look at the following three things. So I want you to understand the impact of harmful substances on the body. I want you to be able to list some harmful substances which are inside computer systems, some of which we've looked at already. And I want you to give examples that these substances might have on a body, what effect it might have and what damage it might potentially do. OK, so that's what we're going to be focusing on uh, looking at for today's lesson. Now, basically, what I want you to do with today's lesson is I want you to find either a blank page in your jotter if you've got one or a plain page of A4 would be totally fine. Um, Last year in class, what we actually did is we had old bits of wallpaper and we got people to lie on the floor and we did whole body size versions of these. So you can be as creative as you like. And what I would like you to do is to label the parts of the body with different um, effects that they have and what kind of happens when the harmful substances are brought into contact with the humans through dismantling of PCs and things like that. OK, I'll issue bonus points for creativity, so I'll give you some examples of what that might look like in a second. But the more creative, the better. Don't worry if you're not artsy, if you're not very good at drawing and things like that. You could always do this on a computer if you wanted to instead. That's totally fine. Um, and then I want you to use online, if you can get access to it, to use um, a little bit of research to try and get as accurate as possible information onto your diagram. Now, I'm aware that when you're doing a little bit of research, you might come across a bit of a difficulty to try and find information. So what I did is I went on to the Internet and I typed in keywords like health effects of electronic waste, which is sometimes called e-waste, health effects of health of e-waste. I put in things like health effects or harmful effects of computer parts on the body, things like that. So try to use appropriate keywords when you're searching for stuff on the Internet. Um, here's three web pages that I came across that were quite useful. So Code Avengers was one, eWaste One was another, and MNN was another. I think it's called Mother Nature Network or something if you want to look it up. Okay, so there's three 
um, web pages there that were certainly useful. Also remember that you might come across web pages that just list the type of materials that are used. So they might say words like cadmium, beryllium, and then you might need to search up those words specifically to find out their impact on the on um, the body. So at the very least, if you're struggling to find information, you could search up the five words we, we spoke about earlier, lead, mercury, arsenic, beryllium, cadmium, and find out what impact they have on the body. Okay, so now what I want to do is just give you a very short example of the type of thing that I'm looking for. So here we've got a body. I have stolen some pictures from the internet and put them inside my body. So you can see I've got a bit of a broken heart, some kidneys, a bone, which is really poorly placed in the leg, but a bone nonetheless. And then um, on the arm, I tried to find some kind of red squiggles to represent a burn or itchy skin. Okay. Now, what you can see is we've got a uh, cadmium on the left. So we've seen it can be found in a coating or um, monitor, glass, batteries, chip resistors, cables, wires, and it damages the kidneys and the bones. The other one I think I had was mercury. So it can be found in, I don't know what's happened to my custom animation here. Um, Mercury can be found in circuit boards, internal switches, um, and it's um, poisonous, includes symptoms like burning or itching skin, skin discoloration, shedding of the skin, and also can be linked to brain and kidney damage. And basically what I want you to do is find as many examples of that as you can and fill up your uh, diagram so you've got all different parts of the body um, kind of highlighted and shown. It could be anything from um, it stops hair growth, um, or fingernails, it could be um, more specific. A lot of them will say things like if, if you've got a pregnant woman, it can have um, impact on fetal growth um, or it can affect children. So feel free to do two, a children's version and an adult's version. It's up to you. You can be as creative as you like. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for for the end of today's lesson. When you've finished it, feel free to um, see if you can upload it onto Show My Homework. You can send an email. I'll connect that to the Show My Homework to your teacher. You can, um, if you've got a Twitter account, feel free to pop it onto Twitter and tag me um, at Mrs. Jeans. You can do any of those things and show off what type of things you have been creating. Okay. Uh, when you've finished, your little plenary for today is to discuss with someone in your household. So it could be um, your brother and sister or whatever. And I want you to have a little think about whether you think animals are more or less affected by some of the issues that you've looked at today. And why do you think this is? So do they have a choice about how much they come in impact with, um, you know, these different types of materials? Is it happening more in cities where humans come in contact with these materials or is it out in the country? Um you know, we've already looked last week at different, um, you know, where this is coming from. So you might want to um, have a think about animals and decide whether they're more or less affected. If you want to write that down, your daughter, you're more than welcome to. But um, a discussion is absolutely fine. So hopefully by the end of this lesson, you will be thinking about how successful you've been in your learning. Um, hopefully you'll be able to understand after your research the impact some of these harmful substances have on the body. You also should be able to list even just four or five different harmful substances which are in computers and give some examples of the effects that these have. OK, um, well done. Hopefully that's your uh, first lesson completed and I look forward to seeing your results soon. Take care, guys. Bye.